Aloha, good morning. It, we are in Kagawong uh, here in Canada. We just anchored out last night. Uh, Cynthia's staying on board, but we're going to go to the Bridal Falls. And Lucy decided she's going to get off from Canada after all. She's been on the boat ever since she got to Canada. So we're going to go, right Alex? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be about 14 minutes from here, 1.1 kilometers, we'll see. We're going to take the road though this time. You see a good view of Mahalo right there and the water is just like glass this morning. So join, join us here for another journey as we explore the town and the falls. Today we are in Kagawan, Ontario, Canada. After exploring the Bridal Falls in the town, we will leave Kagawang and make our way over to Gore Bay and stay at the Gore Bay Marina for the night. Aloha! We are Sava, Cynthia and Alex along with our two dogs, Lucy and Shadow. We're traveling America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile North American waterway from Florida to Canada and back down via the Mississippi. Follow us on this journey on our boat called Mahalo. So this is the main road right outside the marina right here. Someone's already walking their dog. We're gonna go across the street because Lucy doesn't, she's not used to other dogs. She's been, she's been a home dog. <laughs> we need to get her used to being outside with the others. She's still barking at sailboats and everything else that passes us on the water. Just a quick view while no one is here of their beach area. No dogs on beach, it says. So Lucy's not allowed. So she's turning around, but see the sailboats there? They're both loopers. So we stayed with two loopers there last night. And uh, but nice beach area right here. Right, Alex? Yep. All right, let's continue on. Up the street we go. Just noticing the cemetery on that side right there. Everything is nice and clean and new, like the sidewalk looks like it was just poured. Gifts and apparels. And this, I believe, is the uh, chocolate works. We're going to come back here when they open up. They're supposed to have some really good stuff. Chocolate, how can you go wrong, right? going to walk up Main Street up a steep hill to Bridal Falls and return via the relatively level walking trail back to town. Given the choice again, we would have definitely chosen the level, easy walking trail rather than the steep hill up the road. Check out these life-size chess pieces and checker pieces. That is so nice. Nice little park area right here. So if you want to play checkers or chess and walk walk beside your pieces, this is the place to do it. African handcrafted items right here. All right, Lucy, let's go. Gotta go. Come on, girl. Let's go. Come All right, on, Alex is go. walking his dog. We have reached the town limits, or so it seems. Um, the public library is right here across from that park with the big, big, big chips. Uh, chips, the game pieces. We're going to go straight up here. That looks like a millstone. It probably was a millstone. All the same, Kagawang Trails Midpoint. So, not sure. Oh, we are here. It says right there. And we're going to the falls right there we can do this a look back for those of you who hike all the time yeah not a problem for me i don't do a lot of walking not recently i've been on the boat for 43 44 days lucy what are you thinking she says i haven't been off the boat for such a long time this is a long walk daddy Cute sign on the way to uh, Kargawang Billings Connections Trail. Pretty sign. All right. Old Mill Heritage Center at the bay. And across the street, we have Bu Ba Lu. 
Not sure what that is, but it looks like a gift shop, maybe? Yeah, it turns out to be a candy corner. Gift shop, ice cream. It's all in the same theme, I think. All right, Lucy, take us to the falls. Sign right there, Bridal Veil Falls. I guess we make a left here. Cargo on Bridal Veil Falls, River Valley Park and Marina. Okay. I guess this is it. Well, check that out. Those are the falls from up above. How cool is that, Alex? Huh? Well, looks like it's uh, inviting when you go into the water. I don't know about going in the water. All right. Now the view of the falls, of course, about nine o'clock, so the sun is in her eyes. Pretty though. I think we have reached the bottom of the falls. I'm not sure what Lucy thinks about it. What did you think? Well, pretty cool looking at from behind. All right, so we arrived at Bridal Falls. Alex just went back there. I'm gonna see if I can go back there without slipping and falling. Because it looks really cool. Probably is very dangerous though. It's not that slippery. That's a good thing, but this is wet. As you walk past where the fall comes down, it is wet. Quite a breeze back here. You can see Alex and Lucy. Pretty cool though. go back because after you stand here for a while it actually is very wet I think my shirt is almost totally soaked by this time the nice thing is it's not muddy um, as you walk here it's quite solid but very very moist if the spray from the falls comes down so we're leaving the falls. We're gonna try the trail and not get lost. Um, I'd like Lucy. Lucy's just not been out much. She's been really a house dog. And so she barks at everything and she hasn't drunk anything either. So I'd like her to drink something. We'll see, Alex can get her to drink. Okay. Come here, Lucy, come here. I think she's upset. So we're not able to get Lucy to drink. Maybe she's not thirsty. Maybe she's just anxious. Alex is trying not to force her so she knows she can do it by herself. Ooh, I think we're getting there. Was she almost there? Yep. Almost? Okay. Yeah. I think we're making progress. Alex, give her some water again. Alex. Again, she's not been outside dog. She's been in the house almost all her life. She's three years old. How nice that they put some trash here as well for recycling and trash. So we're gonna try to take this trail down the creek and back to Kagawong. It's a nice trail. So, Alex, do you like this place? Yep. It's pretty cool.
The trail overall is quite nice. Um, it's gravel, not muddy, relatively even. Almost like you can get a wheelchair down this way. But it basically follows along the creek. They do have some benches along the way, so if you do get tired, you can take a little spell and sit down. Here's Alex. What do you think of the trail, Alex? Well, I can see the river and then there's a little stream right here. Yeah, a little stream. I like that. Okay, we're gonna go up on top. You can find these shitty looking stones right here. And I think they're granite. So the trail makes a turn here uh, to go back down to the river. We're going to stay on top because I believe it comes out of the parking lot. Another one of the benches right here you can sit down on. Donated by Patrick and Madeline and Mike Coleman. Mm -hmm. Go to creek. Stay on the trail, it says. Stay on the trail. Sign says, beware of poison ivy. So yeah, I guess you just got to watch out for that and stay in the middle of the trail. Try not to get that on you. I break out terrible with poison ivy. It's not a pretty scene. Water everywhere. No trash can it says info center. I don't think this is open. It looks pretty closed up. All right, Lucy's getting tired. That is for sure. Again, she's been a boat dog for 40, 40 some odd days. Not gotten off the boat, except for a couple times Alex took her. All right, this comes back out of the parking lot. So if you are on the parking lot, going to the falls just stay straight don't veer off left or right keep going straight and you will get to the falls so all things being equal um i would take the trail alex would you take the trail i probably would take the trail uh it is a very gentle slope to the falls um, rather than going over the top on the road. The road is not bad if you like a smooth path, but then you have a ton of stairs at the end. So, my tip, I would take the trail. And when you see that sign that we saw earlier, Cargowan Trails Midpoint, that's the parking lot. Just go straight down this way and you'll be all good. You see a number 54 there. Not sure what that means right here by this sculpture that you'll see by the road which we don't know what that is i'm sure there's a sign there we can read that the stone maze so we're gonna go over here stone maze lucy wants to know what this is all about come lucy so this is a stone maze it's like a corn maze except you have to try to find your way in and out of the maze come lucy we can do this and with a lot of cheating, it's actually possible. Did you cheat? Nope. Didn't cheat? Nope. All right. I'm, exactly I'm going to confess. I cheated. Cheat. So this is the stone maze if you want to do a little stone maze. I'm going to go back to the road here and get back to the boat. All right, Alex, tell us what this is all about. So this sculpture is called the the uh, Ascend and Transcend. Mm -hmm. And it tells? Learning from the past to imagining a shared future, to ascend and transcend our relationship from the past to a new future in reconciling the humanist ideals. Our relationship to earth, air, and water, and body, mind, and spirit. So that's what this statue is, and it's right next to the stone maze. That's what the uh, plaque said. Okay, thank you, Alex. Well, the sun has come out more. We're almost back at the beach now, and back at our boat. That's not Marina. This is where we parked. You back up, you can see Mahalo. 
Mahalo's parked right there. So Cynthia's with us now. She asked, did you take a picture of the lighthouse? No. She says, did you take a picture of the church? I says, no. <laughs> and that's why Cynthia has to come along because she finds the things that we really should be filming. Um, She'd like to. All these millstones are from the from the uh, paper factory that used to be here. The paper pulp used to be um, milled right down here, and uh, then the pulp was shipped off to uh, St. Louis for this. St. Louis. And this is the marina right here. It's a nice little spot. Of course, today's an absolutely beautiful day. Tips from the local fishermen here on where to go and hide out for the uh, for the week. Uh, Cynthia and Alex here looking at signs for this lighthouse. So yeah, they know where it is, and the winds are going to push the fish in. So they're all excited, ready to go fishing. So these millstones you will see everywhere, uh, as you've seen, and uh, so we're going to go right on. Past, but yeah, millstones from that paper factory. All right, we just stopped in at the chocolate, chocolate. works. What a hidden gem here! It's it has wicked. Cupcakes mm -hmm. and chocolate. It's got all kinds of really nice jams, lemon curd, all kinds of different marmalades. Um, good coffee. Zava just got some coffee. I got I got raspberry, Look at raspberry. This cute. Yep. See? Raspberry chocolate, chocolate works. Raspberry chocolate and these cupcakes are not to be missed, says Jim at the Dock Master. It has a cream cheese filling, so we're going to. And uh, enjoy then that. we got an assortment of chocolates. Yes. I think we got a set of eight. They're down and, in there, um, I believe. Yeah. They're now I've got to get a bite to eat, but if you happen to be in this town, don't miss Chocolate Works. I mean, I'll show them how pretty this porch is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Cynthia said, um, <laughs> Cynthia said, there was a filling, and sure enough, there is a filling. It is a very delicious Alex cupcake. Yeah, he was not, he was not wrong about saying mm -hmm. that cupcakes are good. Right, Alex? Mm -hmm. But cute pillow. It's got the bridge, it's got moose and fox and hummingbirds, loons, otters, all the animals we've seen, they're here. Turtle, Zava's setting the camera. Oh, and they sell ice cream in the marina. And it's the Kawartha. If you know what Kawartha is, it's awesome ice cream. In addition, just a few shops down past the church is the chocolate works which has coffee cupcakes chocolate we were bad so very nice little stop lovely people we stayed oh look our tugboat friend is leaving at the same time mm -hmm. we didn't know they were leaving at the same time they were parked here in the let me show you the cove and there's a beautiful playground there and there is a museum that little two-story beige building next to the playground is actually a museum which we didn't walk over to. Of course, the highlight of this town, Zava, is the Bridal Veil Falls, which yep. Zava did, and Alex, and Lucy. clipped in and that right there is the other looper boat uh, miss lily i believe i'm not sure where she's headed but uh, it's a beautiful day and that we get a quick shot of her going down the bay here got some weather moving in as you can see it getting darker on that side alex just finished tying up the lines right there thank you alex i think we're all good View of the bay as we're leaving here. I'm gonna raise this up. All 
All right, so we're off to uh, Gore Bay, and I don't know if you can see this chart or not, but it, Navionics wants me to go around Clapperton Island, go around this way. The local people, of course, they just take the channel across. It's 13 feet deep, and uh, you'll be just fine. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to go around Clapperton Island. We're going to go straight and then go across and take the um, take the uh, the channel across to Gore Bay. It's clouding over, got some light chop, one foot waves, um, and uh, we'll see how long it takes us. Alright, so these two boats definitely want to get ahead of me, and they almost look identical from my perspective. So I'm not sure if they're the same boats, or, but they sure look the same, but it's a very narrow channel that we're going to go into, and I think it's only big enough for one boat, so they want to make sure they get ahead of us. Because we're slow pokes. Mr. May is going into that anchorage down over there. That's where we were, we were going to go there at first, but we're still gonna have like half a sunny day tomorrow. So we're gonna go to Gore Bay and uh, enjoy that Gore Bay tomorrow, and then we'll see if we have to tuck in somewhere for the uh, for the winds. The winds are supposed to get to about uh, gusting to about 20 miles an hour, so we definitely don't want to be on the water at that point. That looks like a deserted island there with like five trees on it, doesn't it, Alex? Yep. Isn't that like something you would see like you're marooned on an island? Yeah. <laughs> There's only like six trees. The six trees. I know they're not palm trees, but coconut trees. Anyway, we got like eight feet below our keel here. It's a very narrow channel. Aloha, we are slowly starting to arrive into Gore Bay, which is right in there. According to the charts, of course, we've never been there. <laughs> Looks like they got a rocky beach or a gravel beach right here, and we came through that narrow channel way back there. It is uh, overcast and not as sunny as it was this morning, but uh, we're gonna pull into the marina tonight and uh, then go into town a bit. Should be there hopefully in the next uh, 45 minutes or so. Well, aloha. And we are almost in Gore Bay. Actually, we probably are in Gore Bay as we speak. A little overcast, not sure how well you can see that. But the breakwater is break straight ahead. Marina is going to be off to our right after we go through the breakwater. Still a pretty day, but yeah, it's overcast and the season is definitely coming to an end up here. So on this side of Gore Bay, which is the port side, it's all rocky. I mean, there is not any sand to be found. They're not even cliffs. It's just rocks. Just rocks. Straight ahead, of course, we got the breakwater and Gore Bay straight ahead. This side, we got some homes. Relatively calm in here compared to the outside, so that is a good thing. Just a quick view from up front entering Gore Bay. Aloha from Gore Bay. There you see Mahalo here in Gore Bay Marina. And we just pulled in here for the evening. We're gonna stay here for the night. So, um, yeah, looks like a nice little place, but the weather does look like it's turning on us. All right, it looks like they have a laundry machines here at the marina. You can see us parked out there. It's like uh, stackable washers. The laundry machines hit the Gore Bay Marina. Things to keep in mind. Here's the uh, last of the fuel, September 30. So 
So this is the dock office. They close at four, so we just missed them just now to um, to pay for a slip. Have to do it tomorrow. Uh, Canadian Yacht Charters. They also have a store here. So Alex and I are going to go inside and take a peek. But this is the fuel dock right here at the marina. Well, that was a walk over to the marine store. Very well stocked. You should find just about everything from charts to dinghies. They had several for sale there. Fenders, you name it, they had it all. Pleasant day, but it just... It just feels like it wants to rain and storm. Mahalo for joining us on this journey to Gore Bay today. Um, as always, we appreciate you watching. Please like, share and subscribe as always. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you again next week as we continue down the North Channel.